Hi everyone, how's it going? My name is Joshua C1, and today I'm bringing you guys a new tutorial series called Tools Within Photoshop. And I'm going to be covering every tool within Photoshop CC within a few episodes, and they're going to show you guys the tips and tricks and what the basic uses for each tool is. Um, if you didn't know, I'm currently taking um, some Photoshop classes at my local community college. I'm um, just learning the program and I figured since all this uh, stuff in my class is helping me out I want to be able to help out my subscribers and help out people to YouTube and people who are new to Photoshop so it's not like I'm some random uh, kid showing you guys how to use Photoshop for the first time so today we're going to cover the move tool it looks like a triangle and a pair of crosshairs it's at the top of your toolbar and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a document from my computer I downloaded this uh, cool looking Battlefield 3 wallpaper, if I can scroll down to it, there we go. So I have this cool looking Battlefield 3 t um, wallpaper, I'm going to duplicate the layer control J, and I'm also going to duplicate it again. I'm going to hide the first layer I duplicated and then delete the locked background layer, just in case I mess up or anything. So what the move tool does is, you're going to right click with your mouse or your trackpad, and you're going to use your mouse or your trackpad to move the image around. Um, it's a pretty self-explanatory tool, it's really simple, but there's a few nifty tricks you can do if you pair it with a few other tools. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to control T, the layer that I have selected. I'm going to hold down shift and scroll down my, the size of my image. And from now I have a perfectly sized um, little small image of the background. Um, it would be the same resolution, or not resolution, but the same amount of quality if I was to change the layer to a smart object by right clicking and going to convert smart object before I changed it. But that's besides the point, that's for later tutorials. So what I have right now is I have this image and there's all this transparency within my image. But what I'm going to show you guys is if you match the move tool with the rectangle marquee tool and you're going to right click, right click and drag over your document and you're going to go back to the move tool by using the v the uh, v key on your keyboard you have these um you have these little buttons up here at the top of your toolbar and what they are they are um uh, what's the word they move your image to a certain extent and they will help you reset and not resize reformat your image to a certain place they're align tools basically so what you're going to do is this first one in, in this first set, they're going to either put at the top, the middle, or the bottom. And then for the second set, it's to the left, the middle, or the right. So if you're trying to center a image within your document, you're going to hit both of the middle um, align tools, and then you can control D to deselect. And it's really helpful for aligning things, and it's just a nifty little thing that I do all the time and within my documents and speed arts and everything. Um, so it's pretty much the move tool. It's very viable. Um, it's very valuable within Photoshop CSC, and it basically helps you do a lot of things. It helps you move your images within your document, align them, and then if you pair it with like a marquee tool, you can use the align t tools, but you have to have you have to have something selected within your document to use the align tools, or else they won't pop up. So this has been C1. This has been the first episode for Photoshop tools. I'll probably think of a better name soon enough. But this has been the first episode. We've covered the move tool, and hopefully next episode we'll cover all four of the marquee selection tools. So thank you guys very much for watching and. Uh, stay tuned for more episodes. Thank you very much.